how far should you go with the editing of your photos? I think this is a, a, a really important topic because it defines the final look of your image. The way you are editing your photos, of course, that will affect the final image and the way it will look, it will impact people in different ways. I think that you need to understand that landscape photography can be uh, about the uh, can can describe the place in a touristic way if you want or can be artistic artistic means that it's your own interpretation of the place your own vision your own artistic expression if you want and depending on 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 what side you are or how you want to portray uh, a certain place uh, leads in the end to the decision on uh, or decisions on how much you can edit your photos. The thing that I can tell you right from the start is that it doesn't matter how much or how less you are editing your photos. If the final image is pleasant to the eye, if the final image looks good, then it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. The, the final result it's what really counts now you need to understand that if you want to do descriptive photography uh, kind of like a documentary you can't go too far with the editing you can't alter uh, the colors of the uh, of an image too much because uh, you want to portray the place as it is and that is why for example in autumn you can't if you have orange leaves can't shift the hue to make them red because it, it will defeat your purpose but if your purpose is to make an artistic image if you want then you can shift the hue of the of the orange to make the leaves completely red and then have that immersive out of this world image you saw yesterday in the video about Peter Lick many of his photos are saturated but they don't look strange there is a point for, uh, where you, of course you need to stop it it doesn't matter if you are an artistic photographer or a, uh, a documentary one at some point you need to stop because you will damage the colors but also it will damage the eye before you're gonna you are going to damage your photo because if you if you'll increase saturation too much of course there will be some technical problems with the photo as you are increasing the saturation of a color and increasing the contrast you increase the differences between elements in the photo and you need to see uh, how much uh, can you can you do that without creating a bad image it's it, there is no definition of what a good image is what good saturation is how much you can saturate the photo how much can you add contrast to an image but it, it's it's something that the the human eye will recognize as bad or as good so uh just to keep this video really short because i don't want uh, we can talk like this forever I just want I just wanted to say to you that you can edit your photo as much or as less as you want uh, the final result is the only thing that matters now before ending this video I just want to say a big thank you to one of you I don't know who he or she is but one of you decided to buy one of my prints because in the description of these videos there there's a link to my a small online gal gallery of mine from where you can purchase prints that are delivered all over the world and this is a really beautiful way that uh, that person decided to support my channel and so if you decide that it's worth supporting my channel more than just viewing and sharing my videos and commenting on my videos you can go in the description of this video and other videos and find that link and uh, buy one of my prints now in the end of this video i hope that you found this little conversation useful and if you're new here you'll decide to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever i do uh, a new upload and if you are already subscribed thanks for watching thanks for uh, being a subscriber and supporting me and commenting and sharing my videos thanks for everything um, 
Until next time, keep on photographing. It's the only way that you can get better. And bye-bye.